Tracy. Jacob, hey, how you doing? How are you? Good run? Yeah. Contemplated not getting up. I didn't think you would. Really? Well, Why would you think that? I, th I knew you would get up, but I didn't know if you would come out. A little rainy out. What well, was thundering and lightning at like 5 o'clock. Right. By me too. And uh, it was one of those things where it was like, I could just lay in bed. But I didn't. Nice. Idea or thoughts of not getting up today? No. I did wonder if I would get a text at like 5:30 and be like, "Yeah, not running today." Are you serious? Just because of how crazy the thunderstorms were. Yeah. There was supposed to be like a big cell coming across. It was supposed to be bad, but uh, it didn't happen. Many times we're laying in bed, we make excuses, and it happens every morning. Of I'm not gonna get up. It's lightning and thundering. It's raining. But uh, you just have to just literally just get out of bed. So I got out of bed, made some coffee, did a little work. Lucy's brew? Lucy's brew. I was going through questions of what I was gonna ask him and the flow of it, what should I start out with, should I start with photography, or get right into free diving, right. or shark attacks. I guess I have to do a sunrise dip, don't I? Uh-oh. Let's do it. Go to lunch, take our school, we'll meet up at 10 o'clock. Did you see your um, dog video? Yes. Not too bad. Okay. If we second guess the fit, I mean, look, I, I gotta tell you. I... Hey, Steven. Hey, Joe. Good to see you again. Long time now? Yeah! Oh, again. Yeah. Shoot the intro. Yeah, so the typical style of this is just going to be I just have a list of questions and okay. I kind of have it flowing where it's first talk about free diving, okay. then get into spear fishing, okay. and then end on photography. And how long have you guys been doing this for? I've been doing the podcast for now a year. Holy shit. Uh, but we just started the video stuff. Steven just came aboard to do the video stuff. Two, three weeks ago. So um, he wants me to do some daily vlogs too. Cool. You should do an interview with him at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Something like this, where you sit down and crazy microphones and headphones. Yeah, look at that. And it's like how it started there. Yeah, man. The podcast vi videos, they're they're you know in that thirty to forty minute range. So it's you're not gonna ha we're not gonna have a lot of people that watch the whole thing but still like when we do the vlogs or we do these like shorter things um it really captures like a younger audience too cool. so it's just kind of just putting out the content in all the different channels this looks good too, man. oh yeah this is good so we're gonna go down to <laughs> ikea and get some furniture and where's your ikea at around here fort lauderdale oh shit yeah your your bio here says how updated is this? Not very updated. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off with a question about Donald Trump. Oh great, really? <laughs> Make America great again. All right, you ready? Yeah, ready, man. What do you think, dude? Amazing. There you go. Amazing. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I'm here with the wonderful Chris Landers. 
uh, who is, can we say, world-renowned photographer, Spiro, uh, free diver? I, I mean, I guess you can kind of throw that out there. I'm well known in South Florida, you know, yeah. trying to make a, a better name for myself. So do you call all your buddies and you're like, hey, Spiros, let's go? Not at all. I'm like, hey, what's up, Toby? What's up, Mike? <laughs> uh, Jumping out in 500 feet of water when it's like that blue and you dive down. It's actually very humbling because you realize how small you are in this whole universe. Very and literally, small. there could be a big ocean beast that would come swallow you and that would be it. That would be it. No one would see you again. I can, I can definitely walk you through what happened. One of my buddies um, is a very competitive free diver. When we were out there diving, all of us have already shot our fish. We've already shot our cobias. I was telling everyone that he is the alpha male type spear fisherman, which you don't want to be. Right. My buddy took a breathe up, took a deep breath, and as he took the deep breath, he went down. When he went down, he went down to like 80 feet, and I see him trying to stalk the shark and the cobia. So I turn to my buddy that's on the surface, and I go, hey, come over here, please follow me. He's going to black out. As he's coming up, the cobia comes back up, so he dives back down to like 50 feet. And all of a sudden, he exhales, because he thought he was on the surface and his body was telling him, like, you're done. So he exhales, and as he exhales, his hand's up in the air, his hand drops down, and he starts sinking head first down in the water. And we're in 140 feet of water. And he starts to sink, and I pick him up. I swam up to the surface as fast as I could. Yeah. Took his mask off and blew across his face because there's receptors on his face that tell him that he's not face down in the water anymore and it's okay to breathe. Yes. Slapped him on the face a few times, kept talking to him to encourage him to breathe, that everything's going to be okay. And he popped out of it. Um, and he, you know, he, he came back. So if we weren't watching him then, yeah. he wouldn't be here right now. Wow, that's, I mean, that's an unbelievable, so, yeah. unbelievable story. As soon as my face hits water and I load my spear gun, I am totally relaxed and ready to go. You actually had the, the luxury, the benefit of actually coming upon a whale shark. Yes. Tell us about that experience. Oh man, it's a day that I will never forget. And so I was breathing up, getting ready, nice and relaxed to go down. And as I'm going down, I take my deep breath of air. As I take my deep breath of air, I start diving down and I feel someone grab my weight belt. And someone grab my weight belt and pulled me up. And as they pull me up, what's in front of me is just a wide open mouth oh, of okay. a whale shark. And I knew at first, like my heart was racing, but I, I swam with them before in Honduras and Belize, so I was like, oh my God, it's a whale shark, you know, it's not gonna eat me, it's not gonna bite me. And his mouth is just wide open, and I just stick my camera in his mouth, and I just start taking pictures of him and, and rolling video. I was like, guys, can you just give me 20 minutes by myself? I really wanna get some pictures of this thing alone. And they're like, yeah, for sure. So I went home and I posted pictures, and I get a message on Facebook to this girl, and she's like, hey, submit this to whalshark.org. And they wrote back, they're like, this shark has never been spotted before or wow. seen before. So I got to, I got to pick out the name for the shark. What did you name it? I, I named it after my dog. My dog's name was Kingston, and we always called him Kinka. So I named the whale shark Kinka. Oh, cool. Yeah. So Christopher Landers, if people want to either see your photography, buy your photography, or just kind of see what you're all about, where can they go? Uh, they go to my Instagram page, which is going to be Christopher Landers. Excellent. You've never actually experienced somebody playing the ukulele in front I, of you with I, headphones on and everything. I didn't even think you could play the Do you want to play us out? No, you're, you're good, man. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. And we will talk to everybody later. All right. Have a great day, guys. Nice. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> so we'll probably we'll probably post it either tomorrow or Friday. Well, thank you. No, no problem. Uh, yeah, we'll let you know when it's up, and it'll be an audio format, video format, and perfect. Yeah. What boat would you get if you get, if you had your druthers? Oh, I would get like uh, twenty-eight to yeah. thirty-two, something along those lines. Well, Chris, thanks so much. Thank I you. For, thank I'll you. I'll let you know when it's up. It was yeah. great meeting you, man. Likewise. Thank you. We job. should do we should do maybe like a reunion show like in a couple months and get the whole Spiro gang in there with oh God. They, <laughs> <laughs> no, you would have to censor that like crazy. It would have Do you like getting up this early? I do like getting up this early. Yeah. Go to McDonald's, have a toss muffin. Stop it.